Well, here we go again. Uh, man, that pine tree, that huge pine I cut up, uh, that lasted me a good week, a uh, week and a half, almost two weeks actually, um, on that, just that pine, those couple pine logs. So that turned out to be a lot of wood and man, did that stuff burn. That sap, it was just soaked in that sap. It was like they were soaked in, in kerosene or something. You'd throw them in there and the whole log would just ignite. So very, very cool. But uh, all the, the easy pickings are, are pretty much picked here at the property. Um, got my trusty helper back here with us, or with me today. And we're gonna go out and scout a little bit more. We had a, a kind of a windstorm yesterday. Um, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head down the trail and see if I can find anything else. I know there's a few dead trees back here. Uh, the problem is everything's getting a little bit harder to get. So it's taken a little bit more, more effort. So I gotta dig a little further into the woods and um, get the truck in places that aren't quite as easy. But uh, hopefully the ground is still frozen enough where I won't get stuck in a mud pit somewhere back here. So this could be interesting. All right, let's do a quick site survey here. So a lot of these trees are blown over, but they're not dead. They're still rooted in the ground. I don't know if it's the wind coming off the swamp or what, but you can look through the forest here and all these trees are blown over. This one here blew over. It looks like somebody already cut a lot of this stuff out. I might get a couple more logs out of that. Problem is getting in here with my truck. Here's a here's a good one. This thing looks like it's still alive too. Look at that. It's got new growth coming off this thing. But I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this one. I think. Maybe it's dead enough. Lots of other trees down here. There's that big swamp out there. That's all on our property too. Kind of a waste of property, I guess, but can't really do much with it. Tree down here, this one looks like it's No, well, it's not rotten. Take that. A couple stumps I can cut off. This one looks pretty rotten, but might burn. Yeah, solid enough. Get all this wood out here. Here's another down tree. Look at all those trees down out there. We got trees out here. I got a big one over there laying down. All these trees on the ground. A lot of these are too old, too rotted, but this one here, this is actually several trees. Look at that, there's another one. What kind of trees are these? I'm bad with uh, identifying these trees. I need to figure that out. Something lives in there. But just right here in this pile, there's a lot of wood in here. It's a lot of wood. So I think that is all on our property too. Right over there. The property lines are pretty close to that. There's a fence line over there. So, but uh, Well, let's figure out how I can get in here. So I know a lot of you guys have asked, do you think you'll be able to sustain yourself wood-wise off of just, you know, our property here? Um, I honestly do think so. I think that with just taking, the amount of dead trees and down trees that are in here is, if I get them this year, there's, there's two years worth of burning you know, just with that stuff. And over those two years, a lot more trees are gonna fall and, you know, have have more just with down trees. There's, there's a good 
probably almost 10 acres of, of woods out here. I mean, pretty close, maybe eight, eight or so, but I really do think that we can sustain ourselves 100% off of this lot. Um, you'd be surprised at how much wood is out here. And this is all deciduous. This is all soft and hard woods. But everything you see over there, all the tops of those trees over there, those are almost all maples. Some sugar maple, some silver maple, uh, various kinds of maple trees in there, but uh, um, which burns very well. And there's just, there's a lot of forest out here. There's a lot of oaks, there's a lot of cherries, um, and uh, a lot of trees I don't, I can't identify because I just need to look them up. But I absolutely think that we can sustain ourselves with, with the amount of forest we have out here. So, and I will also supplement as much as I can with other sources, pallets, um, you know, people have trees down. I've had a couple people ask me to come get trees from their house as soon as the weather gets warmer. You know, they've got trees in their backyard they want to take it and stuff like that. So uh, I don't see a problem. I don't see a reason why, why we can't, uh, can't make it. Well, I think pretty much everything is cut up here with this little down tree. This stuff is way greener than I want, but uh, I'll split it up and let it dry out a little bit or throw it in there and see if it burns. Uh, got all the little stuff over here. My problem is, is that I can't get the truck back here far enough, so I'm gonna cut this, this thing down and try to back it up as far in here as I can. Well, that'll get us started. There's, uh, there's the first load, all the little stuff. And then I've got all the, all the big stuff left to get. I'll come back for it. Well, that is pretty much the deal. This is all the wood that I got here. Now, the first load that I brought up of all the smaller stuff, um, 
stuff you know around this size here and that size I already burned through all that it was a couple days ago um, and so what you see here is everything that I had left from that which is just a little bit and then uh, everything I split today so uh, but not a bad not a bad haul I mean for probably four or five hours worth of work every week that, that's pretty much what it's boiled down to now it's been in the teens you know it's been down to about 15 16 degrees at night um, some days have been warmer some days have been colder but uh, it's been working out so it seems to be what I have to do is to keep this thing fed is just to uh, go out about once a week sometimes twice a week depending on how much I how much time I have um, I, I don't know what kind of wood this is but it actually I thought it was really green like you know real wet but it actually seemed like it split real well um, it's, and, and this thing burns anything. I mean, when that blower kicks in, I can burn. Shoot, I was burning Christmas trees in there. Remember those trees I got from the from PSC? They gave me a, about 15 of them, 10, 15 of them. Throw those in there. They burn pretty good. And pretty soon, I'm gonna do a video on burning some pallets. Um, I'm gonna try to run a week off of only pallets see how many pallets it takes um, and see how all, how all works so I'll take you guys along for that too that should be interesting so but anyway this is it I absolutely think that I will be able to survive for many many years off of just the uh, dead wood in that forest so how many acres would it take to completely 100% sustain yourself off of your own land how much forest do you need uh, like I said earlier, you know, we probably have eight acres or close to that uh, of fairly established forest I mean, this is less than you know, probably 25 years old But because uh, this all used to be field uh, from what the neighbors tell me So if you're looking at property, you know, I would say that the bare minimum if you have an outdoor wood burner That you want to look for is probably four acres of wooded, you know land So if you're looking at a 10 acre parcel, you know, maybe close to half of it be be wooded um, that will guarantee you that you've got enough wood to sustainably, uh, you know, cycle through that and, and be able to, to take care of yourself. Now, if you have an indoor wood stove or you have like a fireplace sensor, you're going to burn way less wood. And so you don't even probably need that much. Uh, I do recommend, you know, with less land that you plant trees every year. Uh, you can go to conservation districts and stuff, or conservation societies and county places and township places and get trees every spring to plant and uh you know go plant some hardwoods every year or even plant some poplars and some fast growing stuff you know you can get 20 30 40 trees and just plant them every year and uh then you take care of yourself for the the next 10 15 20 years instead of just uh you know mowing your forest down but i definitely think you can you can do it with way less than what we have here i honestly don't think i would have to cut down a live tree or you know for the next two years uh, there are so many trees that are down in there already or leaning or almost ready to fall that uh, I don't think I'll even need to cut down a lot of live trees I will cut down a few thin out and stuff like that but um, I don't think it's even necessary so but uh, I'm gonna make it this year I'm about halfway through the winter uh, with the wood that we have here already and uh, it's, it's almost January 15th here so um, I think I'm gonna do it uh, just if I can get get through March and that starts to warm up here so anyway as always guys thanks for watching have a good one